you wanna fry when you're with your boys, boys? How you gonna play me when I put your clothes, clothes? The one that you be wearing when you're with your dozy, dozy. You know you never thought that I would have the nerve, the nerve. Think about it more since you had the curve, the curve. Blowing up my pants, say you want a chance, a chance. Listen when I'm playing, please. I'm not the one. Say it again, say it again, say it again. Hey, YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a unit from the company The Stylist. I have never tried one of their units before. So when Sam's Beauty said that they had this new line out with the 13 by six frontal, I was like, oh, okay, send it over. So shout out to Sam's Beauty for sponsoring this video and sending this unit to me. So this unit is by The Stylist and her name is Nisha. Nisha does come with a 13 by six parting area. Two combs here over near the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. This unit also comes with a pre-plucked hairline, which they say on the stock card is invisible. So I'll show you if it really is in the video. Now, what I did notice off the bat with this parting space is not your typical 13 by six frontal. Most of the parting space is more towards the center, similar to what a closure would look like with six inches available here. And then along the sides, as you saw on the clip, you um, have some parting space there. So you're not gonna get a super deep side part with this type of unit. But there is parting space available for you to switch the preset parting space. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. So I was really excited about this unit because one, I've never tried the stylus and two, it was a 13 by six frontal. I feel like ever since Sensational came out with their What Lace Collection with the 13 by six frontal, a lot of companies have coming out been coming out with their own 13 by sixes. And I have reviewed a few of them. I've talked about the Harlem 125 frontals, which I really love. I talked about Bobby Boss's Miss Origin series frontals, which I really, really like. And I also bought another one from that Miss Origin series, a curly one. You'll see that video at some point in December. And I also found some new, a new company that I'll be sharing with you guys in the next few weeks. So everyone's kind of coming out with their own little, you know, spin on it. I was like, okay, the stylist, let's see what you're working with. So let's just dive into the pros. I would say the first pro of this unit is definitely the color. I've never had a color blend quite like this. It's purple, but it's also like a mix of like blues a little bit and violets, a little bit of indigo. Like the dimension and the color is just gorgeous. They did a really good job with that. And it's unique. So I was like, let me try this little Blayage purple color. What is it? Chocolate, lavender. It's gorgeous. I really like that. I also love the lace color. It's like the perfect brown for my skin tone. It blended in very well. As you saw, I did use Got To Be glue spray to, you know, glue this down. And, you know, it's looking pretty good don't mind that part and really glue that down but i like the way it looked overall you don't really have to glue this wig down i saw my girls kyra sean and i all day they reviewed wigs from this line and they did not glue theirs down and it looked just as good i think this can also be considered a glueless unit for some so yes i love the color i love the lace I think the parting space looks super nice. And did you notice that I used my blow dryer on top to like flatten it down? I normally do not use that. I normally use my curling wand, but I like how flat it got. Like, I, I think I might have to do that method more often. I also really like the dark rooting. I like when my dark root comes down a little bit further and I think it blends really nicely. Ooh, look at that color, yes. All of that is a perfect 10. I also do like the style of this unit. I do think the curls are very pretty. They're super long, like smaller barrel curls and it's like a classic holiday style. Now when it comes to the cons of this unit, I would definitely say <laughs> the tangling and shedding is a little bit out of control. This is supposed to be a human hair blend master mix, which means that it's a mix of human hair fibers and synthetic fibers. I felt like the tangling and shedding was the same as a regular synthetic unit. I don't really know where the human hair comes in. I will say that this hair is very soft, so 
you know, there's that, but you know, it's very hard for me to like really run my fingers through this hair. It just, it, every time I try to style it a certain way, it tangles up on me. And y'all, I've been wearing synthetic wigs a very long time and my patience for long units that tangle this much has worn a little thin. <laughs> so for me, that's become more and more of a con. Now, if I really, really love the unit because I love the coloring or something, then I'm willing to forego tangling. But in this case, you know, I think this unit's cute. I just, uh, man, like, yeah. It's definitely giving a certain look. This is batting on a budget kind of hair, especially having a human hair blend for under $40. I just wouldn't go in expecting like, the Bobby Boss quality in the Miss Origin series. I've talked about that wig countless times and that human hair blend is perfection. However, that is at a different price point. That is in the $50 range. This is $35. So, you know, different expectations. But if we're talking human hair blends here, I would rather just pay a little bit more money to get a human hair blend that does not tangle as much as this one is tangling. Yeah, this is a lot. Also, another con for me for this unit was the style, like the way the curls were styled. This side, I love it. But this side, I just, I wish the curls were going this way, like the way this is going this way, because I think it would just frame my face a little bit better. But the curls are going like this way and it's a little bit awkward to me. It's a small con, but it's something that, you know, I noticed and it's kind of bothering me. But she is super cute. I think she is very pretty and this color is so unique. I think it's worth a try. Of all the units I've tried this year, she wouldn't be a favorite, but I do really like this color. Yes, let me know how you feel about Nisha in the comments down below. How do you feel about this chocolate lavender color? How do you feel about the style? You know, the parting area. I think the stylist did make a good attempt at giving us a 13 by six unit and i think it's solid for the price 35 dollars i think it's a solid buy please let me know what you think i do have two more units from this collection coming up i have bella and i have selena and i'm really excited to review those for you guys too so be on the lookout for those if you are new to my channel make sure you like comment and subscribe be sure to tap that notification bell because i have a lot of heat dropping for the holiday season y'all a lot so you don't want to miss it. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, make sure you check them over here to the right of me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.